You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Hello, everyone. It's Hallie with Melody Lane Inspired. And today, I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on making this monogram license plate. Now, this is one I made for my car. But we're gonna go through and walk through how we do it from design to cutting it to applying it. And I'm even gonna tell you what I could have done to make it even better. Now this is how I want the license plate to ultimately turn out. I did use a blank black license plate. So I'll go ahead and show you what steps I take to make this. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to shapes, choose, what size you want. We're going to use the square and then we're going to make that 12 by six. So first thing we're going to do is go up here and hit our little unlock button, which is right at the top. And then we're going to make it 12 by six inches. All right, there we go. First, before we stripe it, I want to go ahead and cut the circle out. So I'm going to grab a shape, go ahead and grab a circle. Let's make that a different color so we can see what we're working with here. All right, now we just want to size this to what we think will be good. I want the center pretty large, so I think that looks good. Now I want to make sure it's centered, so I'm going to click my circle, hold shift, click my rectangle, go up to a line, and center horizontally. That way we know we got it in the center. Now I'm going to go ahead and slice through, so I'm going to click my circle, hold shift, click my rectangle, and then go down to the slice button. The reason I'm doing this step now is you can only slice through one thing at once. So this is gonna make it the easiest way. You can go ahead and delete that. We don't need these circles anymore. All right, now we need to get some stripes. So I'm gonna go to shapes. We're gonna make these out of basically long rectangles. So I'm gonna grab my first one. Let's give it a color here. I'm gonna start with the teal stripe on top because that's actually what I'm keeping. Okay, so we're gonna make our length 12, and then I figured the height is perfectly for the stripes I want if I do 0.859. Nope, not 12. Oh, let me turn that unlock off. Almost forgot, just want it 0.859. So now we have our first stripe, we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate it. Duplicate it a couple times. Now I'm gonna use a second set of stripes and I'm gonna make this one a different color that way I can see them. I'm not gonna actually put these stripes on, I'm more so gonna hold them as spacers to make sure my stripes are spaced perfectly. So I will end up deleting them. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate a couple more of the purple. All right, so now we're just gonna come up here and we're gonna start stacking them and layer them. You wanna get them as close as you can. And if you do have a little tiny gap there, you're not really gonna notice that because that's just the spacing. So, I mean, you're talking a little tiny smidge. If you can see that, you got better eyes than me. And you probably aren't 40 or more because those 40 year old eyes are a real thing. So I'm just lining these up. I see a little bit of a gap there. I'm gonna pull that up. Like I said, if this part, if you have a little tiny bit that's okay. Don't worry about that. You could eyeball it and just try spacing the teal stripes. But I find when I try to do it like that, there's always some that's a little bit off. I'm like, oh, I need to move this one or I need to move that one. So I, this just helps me see that I am spacing them how I need to space them. All right. Now that we have those on there, we are going to go ahead and Let's select them all, and we just want to align center horizontally. So after we have done that, we're going to go ahead and delete these. Remember, these were just placeholders. They were just for me to space my lines. My license plate frame is black, and I'm going to have the black show through where we don't have stripes. Let's go ahead and delete the purples. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and slice through. Now we can only do one at a time, so we're just gonna go one by one. Select the stripe, hit shift, select the circle, hit slice. Oh, once you do that, you can go ahead and delete the part out that you've cut, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and send this to the back again. 
So I'm going to select my next stripe, shift, hit my circle again, go down to slice, so on and so forth. Select your circle, shift, select your stripe, and slice. Okay, perfect. Now the circle here shows that it's white, but on mine it's actually going to be black. My license plate frame was black and I wanted the black stripes and the black center and then we're going to put a monogram on it in white. So just so we can see what it's actually going to look like when it's finished, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a circle. I'm not actually going to cut the circle, I'm just literally using it to place here. So I can see this circle is... I don't know what that circle is. I'm just dragging this till it fits. Almost there. Now we're going to go into the monogram maker, which is a new benefit for access, which I absolutely love. If you're not access though, you can still go in and play with it. You just aren't able to make anything. So go check it out. First things you're going to want to do in the monogram maker though, is you got to give them your initials. What are your initials? And then there's all different ones you can choose from. So you can go through and look, there's thematic ones that have some really cool, there's occasions, graduation, cupcake, you guys might have seen me use that on the hat press, different holidays, interests, love the butterfly, big fan of the butterfly one, and so on. So there's all different ones here. Now I just want the actual monogram itself, so I wanted one that had a bigger letter in the middle, because I like that look, and I like how it is a circle. The monogram's done in a circle, which I think will fit in this license plate really cool. So I'm going to go with this one. However, I don't want my middle initial big here. I want the last initial to be in the middle, like a monogram. So I'm going to go ahead and just change up here my letters around. That way, they are just like that. And there we go. So now that I have that, I'm going to add it to the canvas. I'm going to go ahead and turn it white. and then stretch it to the size I need. Which I want some space around it pretty evenly. Now that we know everything else is centered, I can click this, shift, click the rest, go to align again and center horizontally. Now this is ultimately what I want my license plate to look like, but like I said, my license plate is actually black. So the part that's black here, I don't need to cut because it's already black. So to cut this, I'm now going to go ahead and delete these black stripes. And then I'll go ahead and delete this black circle here also. I went ahead and made that black just so we'll be able to see it once I delete the circle and then go ahead and delete the circle. Okay, and there we go. That is actually what I want to cut. All I need is the teal stripes and then the monogram in the middle, which actually on my license plate is white, but you're going to see it here in black because it, otherwise it won't show. And then that's all set to go. I just put on my black license plate and there you go, guys. Now I am going to show you later on what I could have done different, how I could have uploaded a template and made it perfect with the holes cut out and everything. So stay tuned because I'll show you that also. Now let's start cutting this. Just gonna load the sheet now, make sure it is under your two little guides there, and now it's time to go. To get this off, I like. Everybody has their different ways. I prefer bend it over and pull this down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down so it's easier to weed here. All right, now for this, I just want the circle left. Remember, the inside is gonna be hollow, so I'm gonna go ahead and weed this out. Alright, 
so there we go. We have the centerpiece for that all done and weeded. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm smoothing this down on our Cricut mat here. Now it did have me use a 12 by 24 mat. The reason being my cut was exactly 12 inches long. Now this is Cricut premium vinyl that we are using here. So I've selected that setting in design space and let it know that's my material. So it knows how deep to cut. And we are going to go ahead and cut this now. It's letting me go ahead and load it now. Give it the go. So we're going to go ahead and remove the vinyl from the sheet. I like to do mine upside down. I'm just pushing down and then I'm pulling up. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and weed this. This one should be a pretty easy weed here too. Just started it right there. Actually, thinking as I'm doing this, I could continue doing that, but then I would waste a whole bunch of vinyl. And I don't know about you guys, but I do not want to waste vinyl like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. My design was only six inches, so I still have quite a bit of vinyl left on this other side. So I'm just going to cut it close there. Then I'm going to go ahead and save this for later for another project. By the way, this is the Cricut. This is the aqua color. It's like perfect for teal. I'm doing teal on my Jeep. I have teal decals. Let's say Jeep. And so this matches that teal perfectly. They do have a teal color of Cricut vinyl also. It is a little darker, a little deeper. All right, so we have our two pieces now. We have this here and we have our circle. That's gonna go in there like that. And then this is the plate we're gonna put it on. This plate is a blank plate I did get off Amazon. I'll put the links for that below. Um, I just bought one, but you can buy several for cheaper. You do, my husband, when it arrived, he said, you're not gonna want that, you wanna return it. And I'm like, why? He says it's all scratched. Well, it's not. There's a protective coating on here. So you're gonna wanna make sure and get the protective coating off first. And by coating, I mean film, like a protective film. So, go ahead and peel that away. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and do this teal part, which means I'm going to go ahead and put this part on some transfer tape. Cut the size of transfer tape I need. I love that they give us the handy guidelines for straight lines. I love that on wrapping paper, too. When I cut wrapping paper, that does not have that. It's just ridiculously crooked. So now that I have my transfer tape and I pulled the backing off, I'm going to go ahead and apply my vinyl to it. Turn one side and smooth it across there. All right, got my brayer here. So I'm just going to roll that on there and make sure that is on there good. So I 
think we got it on there good. We're going to go ahead and peel this backing off here. And I like to peel it straight back like this. Continue holding your material tight too. If you see an area, you're going to want to peel it slow in case you see an area that it's not coming off. So when I do that, I usually will take and go ahead and roll that again. All right, let's go back and see if it's there now. All right, and that did the trick. I need to peel it away here. Okay, so there's that coming up, so I'm going to stop. And you can... There we go. There we have our first piece. So now I'm going to grab the license plate frame. Now this part's going to be a little tricky because it perfectly... Ooh, you know what I didn't account for? I did not account for those. <laughs> I did the size of the license plate template. I did not account for those uh, where the screws go. So what I did is I took my picture off Amazon and I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Okay, so now I'm just going to choose simple on this because it is just high contrast, very simple image. So we're going to choose that and hit continue. Now I'm just going to click on what part I don't want. So I don't want any of these areas. In the video, this is what I cut the true control knife with, but I really didn't need to do that because I could have already had the template on here and it would have cut it itself. So once I get that right, go ahead and hit apply and continue. And we're going to be using this as a cutting image. Add it to your canvas. So under there is the image I want to cut. Now we got to get this to size, so this is too big. So first I'm going to come up here and make sure this is unlocked, which I did have it unlocked, but I wanted to show you that because it's new now where it is. It's no longer next to the image. You're going to go up here right above the H. So it is unlocked because I need to make this 12 by 6 inches. All right, now that I have it the size that it needs to be, I'm going to go ahead and take my image underneath, which as you can see is that, and I'm going to go ahead and slice it. So I'm going to line it up, and it should fit in there really perfectly. What you see now that is teal is what it did not cut out of my project because I didn't use the template. I just went with a 12 by 6 rectangle. First we went ahead and ungrouped that. So now that we ungrouped everything, we can go ahead and click on what we need. Now, trying to click the teal piece. When this black piece is just about the same size as difficult, it's not going to let you do that easily. So you're going to want to go over here in your list and find the teal piece. Now, if you're not sure which piece it is, just go ahead and hit the hide button and see it disappeared there. So we know that is the piece we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and click on that piece. Then we're going to click on the black piece here and select slice. Now, voila! This piece we can go ahead and get rid of. That's just what's left of the license plate frame. Go ahead and get rid of this back here. And voila! There it is. Now you have your cut piece that is absolutely perfect to the template and going to fit exactly. It'll have your holes cut out for the screws and the edges rounded. So now we've made the template just using the image we uploaded off of Amazon. I think I got that bottom one on. Think and I hope. I'm just gonna press that one down and then I'm gonna kinda go up here pressing it. Definitely take your time with placement on this. Go ahead and go over it with my brayer. If you guys don't have a brayer, I highly suggest this thing. 
I love it. It's able to give that even pressure everywhere along the roller versus your hands, which isn't the same kind of even pressure. Now we're going to go ahead and peel this back just like we did when we were taking the backing off. I like to stop every once in a while too, just make sure it is pushed down good. We especially want to do that again when we get over here because it's going to be like starting a fresh piece. We're gonna slow down, make sure those pieces go perfect. They did. All right, there we go. First piece is laid. I wouldn't have been able to share it then because, you know, once you upload something, you can't share it, but that is a possibility. And then just make it the size you need. Okay, so to get a couple of the bubbles out, I'm gonna take my little scraper here and you're just gonna push along to the edge. Depends where your thing is. Sometimes it's on the edge of it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press up to get the bubble out, and so on. You can also take, now I would use my Cricut to con True Control knife. However, I can't find it. I have my refills, and I misplaced it. So I'm gonna use another one I have here, which is not as good and is not as sharp. But it's what I can find. So I'm gonna use this because I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the insides here. at the top of the curve there. To the point. All right, there we go. All right, so I also have a little, because this was rounded and I didn't do that, I can go ahead and take and cut that off also. Why I would not use this. I would use the true control knife. It's so much better. It's sharper. This one I'm using is very, very dull. So there is that. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our monogram, which is going to go in the middle. So for this, we're going to go ahead and put this on transfer tape also. Take our bagging off the transfer tape. We're going to go ahead and place this on it here. like to take and use a little scraper to really push it on there. Now we're going to go ahead and peel the backing off. There we go. Now placement of this is going to be important. I had to really get right over that. So I hope that's straight. So you want it centered and straight. And once I start it, I'm just going to go ahead and push it down and go forward. I'm going to go ahead and use this tool just to do that. That's going to help push bubbles out too as you do it. I think we did it. I couldn't find the license plate I wanted so I was like, you know what, I'm going to make this. And I like didn't know what to put in the middle and I'm like, I really want to use the new monogram maker. Wherever you're going to peel from to start peeling it, you're always going to want to make sure that is extra pressed down because that is the point of the point of peel, if you will. Remember we're pulling this back. You don't want to pull up and out. You would want to pull just straight across. All right, so we did it, guys. Here is the monogram plate we made. So thank you guys for joining us. Thank you to all of our supporters. Also, shout outs to you guys. And we hope you join us next time. We have some more fun stuff coming. So I hope you guys all have a craftastic week. So we will see you next time. Bye guys. And I'll just say toodles for Alex since he's not here.